And now that the South Dakota Supreme Court has agreed with a circuit court ruling to unseal search warrant affidavits related to an investigation into T. Denny Sanford, a natural follow-up question has emerged. And what could these affidavits tell us about the investigation? Kelloland's Dan Santella takes a look. First Premier Bank and Premier Bank card owner T. Denny Sanford, who has given hundreds of millions of dollars to the Sanford health system that now bears his name, was never charged in a 2020 investigation into possession and distribution of child pornography. His lawyers wanted the court to keep search warrants for the case sealed. Following the state Supreme Court's decision, the media and the public could have access to search warrant affidavits this month. Regularly throughout criminal courts in the South Dakota judicial system, affidavits signed by law enforcement are treated as sworn statements. That's a statement that a law enforcement officer is held to. Rapid City trial lawyer Robbie Roll doesn't speculate on what the search warrant affidavits might contain, but he does point out what the documents can do. I can't say that it will necessarily lend information to why charges weren't pursued. Of course, again, I'd like to believe it's because there was no evidence of any criminal wrongdoing, but it will tell you where law enforcement's perspective was at at the time those affidavits were submitted to a judge for signature. And they had to contain at least some degree of particularity as to the information sought and why. Rule says the affidavits may also give us a better idea of how this case proceeded. Of course, I don't know how or why this investigation came about. I don't think anybody does at this point in time. But um, it, it should at least help uh, everybody who has an opportunity to review them get some type of understanding as to why this investigation occurred. Dan Centella, Kelloland News. The Minnehaha mm -hmm. County Clerk of Court's Office tells Kelloland News that if there is no petition for a rehearing, the documents would return to the circuit court to be released late this month.